Hello everyone and welcome back to another quick Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can generate certain types of household furniture inside a Blender in literal seconds. To do this we're going to get a special add-on which is built inside Blender so you don't need to download anything from the internet or anything like that. We're just going to click on this edit button and then click preferences, come down to add-ons here and then in the search bar I'm just going to search Archimesh. Here it is. So all you need to do is tick this box. You can tick this one as well. If I open up this drop down, you can see there's generate rooms, doors, windows, and other architecture objects. Make sure you save your preferences, or if you have all saved preferences, it'll save automatically in a moment. I'm just gonna left click this box to turn that off. And now I'm gonna show you how this works. So all I need to do is press shift and then A. Under mesh, I'm just gonna bring my mouse down and it'll automatically move down as I move to the bottom. And here we have Archimesh, where we can choose from a whole plethora of different tools. The room seems to be a little bit buggy, so I usually just use my standard room workflow, which is just a few cubes, scale them to make them thin like walls and just put them all next to each other. But everything else seems to work brilliantly, so you can go ahead and try some of these out. For example, here I've got a door, and you can also see that if I click this door here and press R, it rotates across my desired axis, so now I can just open and close the door how I want. Very handy for animation or just posing the door in general. If I click this axis and then press G, now I can move the whole thing as one. Very handy indeed. I can also press Shift A and if I have a look at my Archimesh again, I choose from a whole bunch of things such as stairs. And you'll see when I create my stairs, there's a bunch of parameters here. So make sure you don't click away straight away if you want to change those. So I can increase the number of steps, or I can decrease them, and there's a bunch of different parameters I can mess around with. So you can have a play around with all these settings, they're fairly self-explanatory, you just need to have a little play around and you'll get used to it. I'll press A and then X to delete everything. So here in Archimesh, everything follows that sort of format, and you have everything from shelves, cabinets, windows, doors, as I've shown, and there's some, also some decoration props as well, so I can choose from a lamp, some books, even some fancy Japanese curtains. Maybe not that fancy, but but still very useful nonetheless. I'll go ahead and press A and X and delete everything again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So just a very basic add-on to show you, but this can certainly save you a lot of time when you're creating stuff inside a Blender. And I would highly recommend everyone to add it to their Blender to really speed up their workflow. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. And if you did enjoy and you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe and press the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much again and I'll see you all in the next video.